I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. They're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Officials in our local communities, as well as the area's disaster relief agencies, are keeping a watchful eye on the track of Hurricane Irene. The Category 3 hurricane that is working its way up the Atlantic coast, posing a potential heavy rain and sustained wind threat to the Hudson Valley region on Sunday. The town of Deer Park is one of the places where flooding has been a recurring problem in recent years. Town Supervisor Carl Brabenick says his office will be prepared to respond if heavy rains threaten the town's flood-prone areas. We have an emergency operations center and what will happen is if um, the rivers go above a certain level, we'll activate that emergency operations center so we can communicate with Goshen and with uh, New York State to make sure if we need to bring any uh, special equipment in or uh, help any residents out that we're able to do so. And it's also an information center uh, for people to call up if they're having any problems or issues in their particular area. The Orange County Emergency Management Office will open Cool Elementary School in nearby Port Jervis as an emergency shelter if needed Sunday. Brabenek says what makes the situation more serious is all the rain we've already gotten this summer. Uh, the water tables are pretty high and uh, that does not help the matters when uh, you get uh, heavier rain um, such as a hurricane in the area because um, you know you had that potential for for flooding and that's uh, that's uh, especially prone in this area. Emergency officials say residents should have ample supplies of food, water and batteries on hand in the event of power outages. Uh, keep checking back here at Record Online for updates on Hurricane Irene and where she's headed. Move that bus! That's what spectators can expect to hear this evening. As the crew from the TV show Extreme Makeover Home Edition, along with hundreds of volunteers, welcome back the Corpi family, who will uh, take their first look at the new house that was built for them during the past week at the site of their old house on Petticoat Lane in the town of Crawford. Hearthstone Contracting of Washingtonville has headed up the home construction efforts and they've been working round the clock in order to meet this evening's completion deadline. You can stay on top of the home makeover story right here at Record Online. A tug of war over renovations is posing a threat to Burton Towers, a senior citizen housing complex in the city of Newburgh. The 126-unit complex is scheduled to be auctioned off next month after going into foreclosure. The city wants to partner with Mount Co. Construction to renovate and operate the Burton Towers high-rise, a move favored by the Tenants Association. But the Newburgh Housing Authority is seeking ownership with a developer of its own. Read the latest on the Burton Towers controversy in tomorrow's Times-Herald Record. Members of the Newburgh NAACP are meeting with Newburgh's school district officials today, and they're looking for a status report on the district's ongoing problem of poor graduation rates among the city's minority students. Now, the issue grew out of a Times-Herald Record report that uncovered preferential treatment given to several former NFA basketball stars who were allowed to cut classes but still play in games. The school district has admitted to past systematic failures in the enforcement of attendance policies at NFA. And in the city of Newburgh, there's a report that two women foiled a robbery in the taxi cab they were in. It was one of three robbery incidents that happened early yesterday morning, resulting in a total of five arrests. Police say 20-year-old Marco Felizmi and 26-year-old Mark Adams, both of Newburgh, and 26-year-old Dwayne White of Wappingers Falls, who were responsible for a pair of attempted taxi cab robberies. In one of them, the driver of 29-year-old woman and her female passenger fought off the armed men who then ran off. Police say they also, the trio also tried to rob another cabbie a few minutes later and once again they ran off without any cash. All three suspects face robbery and attempted robbery charges. A few hours earlier two Newburgh teens were arrested for stealing cash and jewelry at gunpoint uh, from another teen along Bankard Avenue. 
there is sunshine in the forecast for tomorrow. After that, things will start to go downhill. Friday will be partly sunny with temperatures reaching the mid 80s. Saturday will be cloudy with showers or thunderstorms likely with the highs up around 80 degrees. The heavy rains from Hurricane Irene are expected to hit us late Saturday into Sunday. Now stay with Record Online to get the latest on the hurricane and its track and get all the information you need in tomorrow's Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.